Hello everyone. Welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will learn how to rotate a linked list. Let's see the problem statement first. Given a singly linked list, we need to rotate the linked list counterclockwise by k nodes where k is a given positive integer. Assume that k is smaller than the count of nodes in the linked list. Let's see some examples to demonstrate the above problem. In the first example, we have given a linked list 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and value of k as 4 means we have to rotate linked list 4 times counterclockwise. After the rotations, linked list becomes 50, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40. In the second example, we have given a linked list 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and value of k as 2 means we have to rotate linked list 2 times counterclockwise. After the rotations, linked list becomes 30, 40, 50, 60, 10, 20. Now let's see the algorithm to solve the given problem. Start traversing the list from beginning and stop at kth node. Store pointer of kth node in some variable, let's say kth node. Keep traversing remaining list till end and store pointer to last node also. Finally, to rotate the linked list, perform the following three steps. Change next of kth node to null. Change next of last node to head and change head to k plus 1th node. Now let's see the C implementation of above algorithm. The function takes two parameters head of the linked list and an integer k. We are passing pointer to pointer while passing head so it will automatically allow changing head pointer directly instead of returning new head. So return type of this function is kept as void. If k is 0 means we don't need to rotate the linked list, we simply return to the main function. Let's understand the below code by taking an example. So let's consider a linked list 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and value of k as 4. We declare a variable current and initialize it with head of the linked list. Current is the variable which will be used for traversing the linked list. So current will point to 10 initially. We also declare a integer variable count and initialize it with 1. Count is the variable which will keep track of number of nodes traversed in the linked list. We will then start traversing the linked list and move current pointer till count is less than k and current is not null. Once count becomes k means current reaches the kth node, we stop the traversal. So in the example 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, after this traversal current will point to 40 since 40 is the fourth which is the kth node of the linked list. Now there is another condition which is needed to be checked before rotating the linked list. So if k is greater or equal to the number of nodes in the linked list means current becomes null we simply return since we have assumed k is less than number of nodes in the linked list. But in the current example since current is not null it will not enter in this condition. We will store current pointer in another variable kth node. So kth node will now point to kth node which is 40 in the linked list. After this we will traverse remaining list using current pointer till current reaches last node of the linked list. So after this traversal current will point to 60 which is the last node of the linked list 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60.
So now current is pointing to 60, kth node is pointing on 40 and head is pointing to 10. To finally rotate the linked list, we change next of current which is next of 60 to point to head node which is 10. So next of 60 is now changed to node 10. So this joins last node with first node of the linked list. After that head of the linked list is changed to next of kth node. So head is now changed to node 50 which is the k plus 1th node in the linked list 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Finally, since we have to break link between kth and k plus 1th node, next of kth node is changed to null means next of 40 is changed to null so link between 40 and 50 is broken. So after these steps, we have head pointing on node 50, next of 60 pointing on node 10 and next of 40 as null. So when we start traversing the linked list from head, we traverse as 50, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40 and stops. So our linked list is rotated 4 times counterclockwise and this completes our algorithm. Time complexity of this algorithm is ON where N is the number of nodes in the linked list. With this we end our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.